On that subject of memorialising the Holocaust, do you have any misgivings at all, and I hope this doesn't strike a bum note particularly, that sometimes the, there is a potential dilution of the message about the Holocaust if we start to lump all acts of genocide, and this is such sensitive territory, I understand that, but if all acts of genocide are lumped together and it's not just the, the, the Holocaust as endured by European Jewry, but everybody who suffered at the hands of another ethnic group. Do you worry a little bit that the, the horrific uniqueness of the Holocaust is slightly undermined when we begin to do that? The truth is I'm more, I'm more afraid that no one will remember because the testimonies will be gone. Mm. And the testimonies will be of videos instead of real people. So I'm really worried about how my daughters, if they have a grand-grandfather who's a Holocaust survivor, will experience life where it's just a tale from a son to, to a daughter, to a daughter to a son. So I think the gap we have at the moment is so big about just getting people into the hard reality, the tragedy, the biggest tragedy that the Jewish world knew, that I think we should start with that. And definitely we should learn the lesson that every, every suffer in the world is something we need to prevent because racism, hate crimes are things we need to fight, but the Holocaust as a holy place in the tragedies of the world as something very unique, and we need to keep it this way. And Ambassador, one final thought, one final brief thought, if we may. If there is one image, one message, one word that people should call to mind today, what is it? Respect. I think it's all about human dignity. And those people in the streets of London were not respected as human beings.